Yo, 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 what's good YouTube? It's Beatball Reacts back with another video. Today I'm going to be showing Nan, The Real Slim Shady by Eminem. Yeah, let's just get straight into it. See what she thought on this one. The other two she didn't really know about. So I thought why not cheer up the mood and give her an entertaining video. So here we go. Let's go. <laughs> May I have your attention, please? Old May fashioned, I have your attention? See. Very old fashioned, this is. When was this even dropped? This was dropped 13 years ago. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? Will the real Slim Sadie please stand up? I repeat, will the real Slim Sadie please stand up? We're gonna have a problem here. Like you never seen a white person before Jaws all on the floor like Pam Like Tommy just burst in the door We started whooping her ass worse than before They first were divorced Sewing her over furniture It's the return of the Oh wait, no wait, you're kidding He didn't just say what I think he did, did he? And Dr. Dre said Nothing you idiots, Dr. Dre's dead He's locked in my basement uh -huh. Feminist women love him and them Chicka 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 slim shady I'm sick of him, look at him Walking around grabbing his you know what Flipping the you know who Yeah but he's so cute though Yeah I probably got a couple of screws up in my head loose But no worse than what's going on in your parents' bedrooms but Sometimes I wanna get on TV and just let loose But can't, but it's cool for Tom Green to hump a dead moose My bum is on your lips, my bum is on your lips And if I'm lucky you might just give it a little kiss And that's the What's your thought so far? Well, I'm not I'm to see a big bum <laughs> <laughs> this is just one of his like funny songs, yeah. but also has a meaning in it at the same time. If you caught on to the meaning yet. No. Alright, we'll just carry on and see if you can catch on. Bedrooms, but sometimes I wanna get on TV and just let loose, but can't, but it's cool for Tom Green to hump a dead line there. It's a psychiatric hospital, is it? Yeah, it's hype thing. But um <laughs> He said here, um Parents' bedrooms <laughs> Sometimes I want to get on TV and just let loose. Sometimes I want to get on TV and just let loose. But, but I can't, but it's cool for Tom Green to hump a dead moose. You don't get it? No. So he's saying that I want to hop on TV and just let loose, saying he wants to say his thoughts and opinions. Yeah. But yet he'll get cancelled for that and censored. Right, okay. But yet it's cool for Tom Green to get yeah. on TV okay. and hump a dead moose. Right. Yeah. <laughs> And you know who? Yeah, but he's so cute though. Yeah, I probably got a couple of screws up in my head loose, but no worse than what's going on in your parents' bedrooms. But sometimes I wanna get on TV and just let loose, but can't. But it's cool for Tom Green to hump a dead moose. My bum is on your lips, my bum is on your lips. And if I'm lucky, you might just give it a little kiss. And that's the message that we deliver to little kids and expect them not to know what a woman's is. Of course they're gonna know what it is. So he censored it out, but he said, um. That we deliver to little kids and. And ex. So. That's the message we want to deliver, deliver to little kids and expect them not to know what a woman's clitoris is. Oh. That's what it, it is yeah. said, but it censored it out. Expect them not to know what a woman's is. Of course they're gonna know what in a course. Of course they, they're gonna know what in a course is. By the, time, By the time they hit fourth grade, they hit fourth grade. They got the Discovery Channel, don't they? Because fourth grade, I'm guessing, is like year seven in British in England, like year seven, so they're about 13, 14. Right. Parents are trying to can't like stop their children watching that stuff. Yeah. But yet, if they've got a phone, which a lot of these kids in this generation, we have a phone, don't we? At that age, they're saying you can't really stop them. You got. Did you look at naughty things on your phone at that age? Yeah. Did you? Yeah. Josh. But um, got a phone, so um, obviously you know of PH. I can't say the word, otherwise my YouTube would get. No, I'm going to say anything. Which... Well, it's a Discovery Channel for stuff like. You know what I mean? And I don't. Tell me later. Kids, uh, kids, um, yeah, watch that at a young age, so their parents can't oh. really stop them. Yeah, <laughs> and that's what he's trying to say in this. How is it cool? Like you can't really stop your kids, but they they're obviously gonna know what all this is at a young age, because now that mobiles are around. Oh my God, my, at my age, I um, at that age, I didn't even have a phone until <laughs> look at things like this. I mean, Eminem didn't have a phone at your age either, because he's older than you by a couple of years. Certainly didn't get involved <laughs> in drugs or anything. Nah. But yeah, that's what I mean, there's a meaning behind this. He's basically saying how is all this cool type shit, like how is how is they able to promote this on TV acting like it's cool, but yet I can't speak my mind and my thoughts and opinion on this. Like saying if I was to go on TV and say that this isn't cool, 
how are you letting kids do this? How are kids allowed to see this? And all that stuff. Uh, he'll get cancelled for it, for trying to go against what they're promoting type thing. So yeah, perfect shot. <laughs> <laughs> And if I'm lucky, you might just give it a little kiss. And that's the message that we deliver to little kids. And expect them not to know what a woman's is. is. Of course, they're gonna know what in the course is. By the time they hit fourth grade, they got the Discovery Channel. Don't they? We ain't nothing but mammals. Well, some of us cannibals. Other people open like cantaloupes. But if we can hunt dead animals and antelopes, then there's no reason that a man and another man can't elope. But if you feel like I feel, I got the antidote. Women wave your pantyhose, sing the chorus, and it goes. I'm Slim Shady, yes, I'm the real Shady. All you other Slim Shadies are just demonstrating. So won't the real Slim Shady please stand up, please stand up, please stand up Cause I'm Slim Shady, yes I'm the real Shady All you other Slim Shadies are just imitating So won't the real Slim Shady please stand up, please stand up, please stand up So yeah, what's your thoughts on this so far? <laughs> Tune a bit, it's catchy tune, but yeah, I mean, it is funny, yeah, some of it, but it's a bit rude as well. <laughs> but, um... Well, he's just basically saying, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know. Yeah, he's just trying to say, How is all this not like, how, how is yeah. all this cool and allowed to be promoted on TV, on social media, and but all then that stuff? That was then, wasn't it? In this was forever. 13 years ago, 13 years ago, things have changed now. Yeah. Because they are looking more into things like this and on social media. And yeah, everything. exactly. But 13 years ago, this used to be all over social media, like women naked on whatever and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And they, yeah, the Discovery Channel still exists, by the way. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, this is a diss. Oh, I'll explain it after he says it. Oh, and also the chorus. Why don't the real Slim Shady please stand up? This is aimed at um people that are trying to be him, oh, like understand. people, like fans of him. <coughs> Eminem's he he was like dark hair, but he he bleached his hair blonde, oh, yeah. and he had his own style and wrapped in that. And all these people around him are people that are copying him, right. and basically copycats. He's saying people are trying to be me, yeah. want to be like me. So can the real Slim Shady please stand up? But they're probably doing that because they're looking up at him. Yeah, but um, Eminem is against copycats. He doesn't like people copying him. He doesn't want people like him and all that stuff. He's he's very a type of a person. He just wants to be himself, and he doesn't want anyone else to be like him. Like, so yeah, that's all the, the, what the chorus is about. Slim Shady was his um name like. He used to go by Slim Shady when he was younger, but it, Slim, so he had so many different names. Eminem is his obviously main name. He's always been called Eminem, but he used to have songs under his name Slim Shady. And Slim Shady was always his crude, rude type songs, like joke about, mess about type songs. So that's why it's Slim Shady. He's got Marshall Mathers. Marshall Mathers is his actual real name. So he's got Eminem, which is his... His initials. Yeah. Marshall Mathers his real name and then Slim Shady's mess about type music. So yeah. Cause I'm Slim Shady, yes I'm the real Shady. All you other Slim Shadies are just imitating. So won't the real Slim Shady please stand up? Please stand up. Please stand up. Will Smith don't got a cuss in his rap to sell records. Well I do. So f him and f you too. You think I give a dick? Oh, I'll keep it. Am about a Grammy? Half you critics can't even stomach me. Let alone stand me. So basically here is Will Smith, he's another artist. I bet Will Smith. Yeah, he's very popular at the moment. Well, not popular anymore, but like, yeah, he's he was a lot of people, yeah. yeah. He won a Grammy reward. A Grammy is like, for like, most popular song or whatever, and you get like a, a trophy or whatever. Mm. And um, he won that, but when he said when he won the Grammy, is that I don't have to use cuss words or anything to win a Grammy, because in his songs he didn't use much cuss words. Mm. So Eminem basically, because it was, I'm guessing it was aimed at Eminem at the time. So Eminem took offence to it. So he said, um, Will Smith said he doesn't need to use cuss words in his songs. Well, I do. So fuck him and fuck you too. <laughs> so yeah, that's where he came in with that bit. Stand up. Will Smith don't got a cuss in his rap to sell records. Well, I do. So fuck him and fuck you too. You think I give a damn about a Grammy? Half of you critics can't even stomach you, let alone stand me. But Slim, what if you win? Wouldn't it be weird? Why? So you guys can just lie to get me here, so you can sit me here next to Britney Spears. Christina Aguilera better switch me chairs so I can sit 
next to Carson Daly and Fred Durst. And hear him argue over who she gave to first. Little put me on. Uh, yeah, so. Um, but Slim, what if you win? Wouldn't it be weird? Damn, but Slim, what if you win? Wouldn't it be weird? What? And then he's, he's replying back with, why? So you guys could just lie to get me here? So Aye. you could sit me here next to Britney Spears? <laughs> I'm guessing he didn't really like Britney Spears back then. So he was saying, if he won, mm. would you guys just lie to get me where I am? And then just sit me next to Britney Spears. <laughs> and he doesn't like Britney Spears, basically. Guys can just lie to get me here So you can sit me here next to Britney Spears Christina Aguilera better switch me chairs So I can sit next to Carson Daly and Fred Durst And hear him argue over who she gave to first And have him argue over who gave Eminem What was it? Switch me chairs so I can sit next to Carson Daly and Fred Durst And hear him argue over And hear him argue over who she gave the first uh, Kiss to or dick first, I don't know Christina Aguilera better switch me chair so I can sit next to Carson Daly and Fred Durst and hear him argue over who she gave to first. Little put me on blast on MTV. Yeah, he's cute, but I think he's married to Kim. <laughs> I said download her audio on MP3. Ah, oh, I forgot her name. But where he said, um, Little put me on blast on MTV, there was this girl that, um, was basically saying, uh, basically that she got asked a question. Or something like that. And she picked who the winner was. And she picked Eminem. But after she picked Eminem for being like the best song of whatever year or whatever it was. Um, she ended up going after that. Like a couple of days later or something. She carried it on with saying that. Um, she just basically blasted him saying that. Um, oh isn't. Because she called him cute. Right. But then she started slagging him off type thing. So it didn't, it didn't make sense to Eminem, and this is where this bit comes in, where he's exposing him. Alien Fred Durst, and hear him argue over who she gave to first. Little put me on blast on MTV. Yeah, he's cute, but I think he's married to Kim. I said download her audio on MP3 and show the whole world how you gave him an M. I'm sick of you little girl and boy groups, all you do is annoy me. So I have been sent here to destroy you. And there's a million of us just like me, who cuss like me, who just don't give a f like me, who dress like me, walk, talk, and act like me, and just might be the next best thing, but not quite me. I'm I sing said there, there's people that walk like me, talk like me, dress like me, act like me, might be the next best thing, but not quite me. <laughs> you're saying you're the copy of me, but you're never going to be, be me. <laughs> Yeah. Me, walk, talk, and act like me, and just might be the next best thing, but not quite me. I'm Slim Shady, yes, I'm the real Shady. All you other Slim Shadies are just imitating, so won't the real Slim Shady please stand up? Please stand up, please stand up. Cause I'm Slim Shady, yes, I'm the real Shady. All you other Slim Shadies are just imitating, so won't the real Slim Shady please stand up? Please stand up, please stand up. I'm like a head trip to listen to, cause I'm only giving you what you think so far before we get into this next verse. Sometimes through our lives, we all look up to somebody. Yeah. And we might copy them. Mm. And, I mean, mine was my best friend. I was probably 15. Yeah. And she was a couple of years older than me. And I used to dress the way she used to do my hair for me, how she did it. She used to take me to the nightclubs, things like that, which was yeah. in the beaming. Yeah. But we all do look up at somebody. Mm. What about all the other stuff he was speaking about? I don't really know if I like his music very much, really. What, not even his jokey music? No, I haven't really got a lot of thought about it, Josh. He's a... He's, he's a weird one, you see. He does loads of types of different songs. Mm. He'll do his personal life songs, which we'll react to, too. Then you've got stuff like this. It's more like political type stuff, where he'll like say stuff about stuff that he doesn't agree with what like people are promoting online and all that stuff and then he's also calling out the people that talk shit about him because mm. um yeah he doesn't let things slide if someone slags him off or talk shit yeah. about him he'll he'll call it out on a song type thing he'll, he just doesn't take disrespect if you're gonna disrespect him he'll disrespect you back type yeah. thing so yeah he stands on his two feet <laughs> The real shady, or you want the slim shadies are just imitating. So won't the real slim shady please stand up? Please stand up, please stand up. I'm like a head trip to listen to, cause I'm only giving you things you joke about with your friends inside your living room. The only difference is I got the balls to say it in front of y'all and I don't got 
that's the line I relate to. So he's saying, I'm only saying things that you and your mate would say inside your living room. Apart from the differences, I've got the balls to say it in front of everyone, not just inside the living room yeah. between you two. He will say it in front of everyone type thing. Yeah. Because you know when people will joke about but talk shit about someone yeah. inside the living room, just one on one, about this, like, say, other person. Yeah. He says, the difference is, I'll say it in front of everyone, not in a living room in a private space. <laughs> you, yeah. you see what I mean? Talk about with your friends inside your living room. The only difference is I got the balls to say it in front of y'all. And I don't gotta be false or sugar-coated at all. I just get on the mic and spit it. And whether you like to admit it, I just better than 90% of you rappers out, kid. Then you wonder how can kids eat up these albums like this is funny. Cause at the rate I'm going when I'm 30, I'll be the only person in a nursing home flirty. Pins and nurses asses when I'm for jerkins and I'm jerking. But this whole back of Viagra isn't working. And every single person is a slim shady lurking. He could be working at Burger King, spitting on your onion rings. <laughs> or in the parking lot circling, screaming, I don't give a f with his windows down and the system up. So will the real shady please stand up and put one of those fingers on each hand up and be proud to be out of your mind and out of control and one more time, loud as you can. How does it go? I'm slim shady, yes, I'm the real shady. He spat on that onion ring. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll be the only one in the nursing home flirting. <laughs> I'll be the one working at Burger King, spitting on your onion rings. <laughs> Rolling one more time, loud as you can. How does it go? I'm slim shady, yes, I'm the real shady. All you other slim shadies are just imitating. So won't the real slim shady please stand up? Please stand up, please stand up. Cause I'm slim shady, yes, I'm the real shady. All you other slim shadies are just imitating. So won't the real slim shady please stand up? Please stand up, please stand up. Cause I'm slim shady, yes, I'm the real shady. All you other slim shady. Nothing like that, is it not? No, it's not. You've worked it's in the not. psychiatric ward? Yeah, I worked in the psychiatric hospital. Not to. So they're not as crazy as that? No. <laughs> I guess he's on the next level of crazy. <laughs> no. Spitting on your onion rings. <laughs> McDonald's or Burger King or anywhere. <laughs> Putting his bum on your lips. <laughs> Slim Shady and all of us. Let's all stand up. Sit with the boo. <laughs> oh, shit. What do you think of the song? <laughs> <laughs> Sort of stuff I listen to. Yeah. Is it? It's um. Nah, you like the good old singing, depressing stuff. No. <laughs> it's not. There's a big age difference. I'm 62. You're 18. There's a big age difference. 62. You're younger than Eminem. He's 65. Is he? Yeah. Now. Oh. So he's about your age time group. Yeah. And he was making this type of music in your age time group. <laughs> I thought I had a um, CD of Eminem, but it can't be the same one. You're thinking of... There's something else I'm thinking of. Well, does it sound like this guy? No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just surprised you honestly don't know him much. Because no, he was around in your era of time. Era? No, I don't. He was the biggest selling artist at your time. I just don't think he was. <laughs> he is. I've never heard of him. He has been for the past 30 years. He's always been the biggest seller in the world, selling most CDs, well, albums. In my last 30 years, I've been too busy to listen to music. Yeah, you've been working in a care been, home. Been working, <laughs> working hard, bringing up a family. He's even been on the radio multiple times. So you might have heard some of his songs on the radio. I've done some He made a song with um, Ed Sheeran. I think it was like, is it? River. I'll listen to that one day. I'd probably prefer that to that if he's singing with Ed Sheeran. He's in the with song with Ed Sheeran. Not singing this sort of thing. Yeah, I can't. I, I can't remember how the song it goes. 
but it's, the name of the song is River. But yeah, if you enjoyed this reaction, everyone, please do like, subscribe, and comment down below what we should react to next. Also, follow up all of my social medias. We're going to stop recording for today because her ass is hurting. <laughs> well, I'm sat on the hard chair. Yeah. But um, yeah, we'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this one, please do like, subscribe, and comment down below what we should react to next. Also, follow up all of my socials. My links will be down in the description below. Apart from that, we'll see you in the next video. Peace.